Hello everyone, welcome back to our Power BI channel. Here we are covering DAX functions in this series. In the previous tutorial guys, we have covered some text DAX functions. And now in today's class, we will also cover some more text DAX functions. So let's start the class guys. And here are the topics which we are going to cover in today's class. So let's start with this upper DAX function. So let's go to reference page. And here we will read the definition. It converts a text string to all uppercase letters. And we have just only one parameter which is text. And now let's go to Power BI desktop and go to data view. So in the previous tutorial guys, we have ended our class with this lower DAX function. Where we have learned how to change the text format from upper to lower. And now in today's class, we will start with this upper DAX function. This is totally opposite to the lower. It changes the text from lower to upper. And this time my requirement is now I want to convert this column from lower to upper. So I can use this upper DAX function. So quickly I go here in new column. And let me rename this as upper. And now I will write my DAX function which is upper. And under text guys, we need to simply select the column name which is lower, which is from the sales table and close the bracket and hit enter. So here we can see guys, our all values are converted into uppercase. And now move towards the next DAX function of our today's class, which is REPT which stands for repeat. So let's go to the reference page and read the definition first. Repeat text a given number of times. Use repeat to fill a cell with a number of instances of a string. And we have just only two parameters. The first one is text and the second one is number of times. So let's go to Power BI desktop and go to data view. And this time my requirement is I want to repeat the same value of each and every cell. So with the help of repeat function guys, we can do this. So let's go to new calculated column. And let me rename this as repeat. And now I will write my DAX formula, which is REPT, which stands for repeat. So look at the parameters guys. So the first parameter is text, which means from which column you want to see the repeat value. So here I am taking this lower column, which is from the sales table. Comma. And the next parameter is number of times, which means how many times you want to repeat the value. So I want to repeat the value two times. So I will simply enter two and close the bracket and hit enter. And here we can see guys, our new column has added with repeated values. So here you can see South, South, East, East and so on. So in this way guys, you can use this repeat DAX function. And if you wanna guys added any separator here, so you guys can do that. Simply go here in formula bar and simply you need to enter ampersand sign. And now inverted comma start. And now I will use my separator as hyphen and inverted comma close. And close the bracket and hit enter. So here we can see guys, our hyphen has added of each and every value. And if you want to repeat your value multiple times, so you simply change the number from here. Go here and change the number. Let's say this time I will take four. That means I want to see my values four times. So here we can see south is coming four times. I hope guys, now you are clear understanding of this repeat DAX function. And now guys, let's move towards the next DAX function of our today's class, which is substitute. So before understand this substitute function guys, firstly we will learn this replace. So let's go to the DAX reference page and understand the definition. Replace function replaces a part of our text string based on the number of characters you specify with a different text string. And here we have four parameters, old text, start number, number of characters and new text. 
So let's go to Power BI Desktop and go to Data View. So let me delete this column first. So I have deleted all three calculated columns. And let's suppose guys, I want to replace this initial two values of this sales ID column. And instead of S0 guys, I want to replace with this salesperson like salesperson1, salesperson2, salesperson3 and so on. So let's check with this practical. So go here in new column and let me edit this as replace. And now I will write my DAX function which is replace. And look at the parameters guys. So the first parameter is old text. So under old text guys, I will take that column name which I want to replace. So my column name is sales ID which is from the sales table, comma and the next parameter is start position which means from which position you want to start. So I want to start this from S which is first position, comma and the next parameter is number of characters that means how many characters you want to replace. So I want to replace initially two characters which is S and 0. So which is start from 1 and number of characters are 2 which is S0, comma and the last parameter is new text which means which text you want to replace. So I want to replace S0 as salesperson. So simply I will start inverted comma and I will write new text which is salesperson and inverted comma close, close the bracket and hit enter. So in this new calculated column guys, here we can see S0 replaced with salesperson. So I hope guys, now you have clear understanding about this replace function. So in this way guys, we can replace the values. You guys can simply change the number from here according to your requirement. And now move towards the last DAX function of our today's class, which is substitute, which is very much similar like replace function, but we have some differences. So let's go to reference page and understand the definition first. It replaces existing text with new text in a text string. And here we have four parameters, which is very much similar like replace function. But under replace function guys, we have starting numbers and number of characters. But in substitute function guys, we don't have any starting number and number of characters. We have just only old text and new text. Let's go to Power BI desktop and understand with this concept with practical. So I am taking new calculated column from here. And let me edit this as substitute. And now I will write my DAX function which is substitute. And look at the parameters guys. So the first parameter is text. So I will simply take sales ID column here which is from the sales table, comma and the next parameter is old text. So under this parameter guys, we need to enter that text which we want to replace. So this time I want to replace as S0 initial two characters and close the inverted comma, comma and the new text is let's say again salesperson which is in inverted comma, comma and this parameter is optional guys so let me edit this and close the bracket. So here we can see guys wherever the S0 is written it replaced with salesperson. But here the problem is that wherever the S0 is not written, it returning the same result. So in such kind of scenarios, replace function is better than substitute. And let's suppose if I replace with this S01 and hit enter. And here only S01 returning the salesperson, else all results are same. So substitute function is not useful in that kind of scenarios. So I hope guys, now you are cleared with all the DAX functions of today's class. Do more practice and explore more yourself and stay connect with us and kindly support this channel. And if anyone wants to learn free Power BI from scratch, so here we have this YouTube channel guys, which name is Power BI Full Course by Shubham.
and under this 50 tutorials guys i have explained each and every concept in detail and those who are visit first time on this channel please kindly hit the like and subscribe button and don't forget to press bell icon guys else you will miss an update and for the job seekers guys we have this telegram group where i'm keep posting latest jobs opening of power bi so you don't need to pay anything to anyone for jobs or trainings but if you still think you required paid training sessions guys so guys i am also providing paid training sessions from day one guys i will prepare for you guys for an interviews so you guys can connect me on linkedin or telegram channel both the links are given under the description box and for free learners guys we have this free youtube channel which name is power bi full course by shubham so keep learning and keep growing thank you so much guys for your more love and support thank you so much